Yo, hello there, my delicious friends. Hope you're doing beautifully well. We are in the Umbral Death Verse in the wonderful game of Lords of the Fallen. Live on twitch.tv forward slash Mikey Mega Mega. It's your man boy, Mikey Mega Mega himself. Having recently received word that my boiler repair technician is on his way today. Hooray! Now, we will go grab some items and I'm going to go for a quick wee. But we are currently in the Umbral Verse, so I knew that I couldn't quite stop what I'm doing just yet. We need to enter reality. Otherwise, many enemies will cause much mischief by the wayside. There's a dude running into nothing back there. And a lot today, whilst we've been playing, there's a lot of people who've been falling into nothingness. This is the third character we've seen do that today. They're all they're all trying their best, and that's what's really important. But a lot of them are working through feelings and emotions, I think. Okay, now, how do I get down without hurting myself? I just want to do that return reality burn. I can probably jump down from here. Oh, there's a ladder. Right there. Hey, Mr. Rolly. Hey, Ayatollah. Hey, Nikki. Electro Cola. You gorgeous people. Wishing you all a very sexy day. Hope life is treating you all beautifully. Let's go and... Oh, it's not a reality return point. Okay, it's an item. But, with that in mind, is that wavering? Okay, I wanted to make sure that one wasn't a trap. I've been hurt quite a lot. <laughs> That's a very real iron portcullis or gate. So I guess we can go further down here. Can you hear that ambient tone getting stronger? Like the sound of metal that's heated up or struck really weirdly. Ooh, wow, it's really gothic y over there. That noise. So let's just have a look, because I think there's a gate down here. Just want to make sure it's not something that I can unopen. <gasps> oh! Doesn't open from this side. Oh. Maybe we do need to pursue on. I'm currently wearing a, wearing a ring, which increases my carry load. And I still have the one that makes my stamina bar fill up nicely. But uh, I don't have my other increased stat rings at the moment. We're testing out some other stuff and seeing. Get my doggy! I'm so glad the camera immediately faced the other way from this opponent. Damn it, damn! Ah, oh, damn. Dead already. That's the one thing me continuing to play right now tried to avoid. Ah, well, how do we get back here? But also, never fear. Because uh, I'm going to go for a wee anyway. This looks like the starting zone for the first Lord of the Fallen. Oh, really? Hmm, fascinating. I will see you guys in a quick moment. Unpause this. It'll be like no time has passed at all. Oh. Let me just open this message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Ears open, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope life is very, very good. Uh, on YouTube. Let's go further into that zone now. How do we get there? A very short dalliance. Yes, because it's up here. Okay, I remember. Um, so we had to run through two things, but we lowered a ladder. And I can't help but wonder if that ladder was actually back here on the other side of the spider cobweb zone. Because I think the area sort of doubled back. So is there a ladder that we might have lowered around here? This might be wishful thinking. No, that's, a, that's an upwards ladder. Ah, this is it. This is our shortcut. Yo, okay. I'm really, really good at directions. I've never gotten lost in my life. Need citation. Okay. And then, uh, what do we do after that? Up and around, right? Alright, Tola, have a good afternoon, man. Thank you for vibing. 
because in here is a way to drop down into here and this is new nice oh he jumped up So this time we're not in Umbral, and I notice now there's a lever if we look in reality. Small mana stone cluster for killing that gentleman, thank you. And by pulling this lever, we have opened the gate that has basically let in more enemies. So 50-50. But at least we haven't done it in the umbral reality. So there's a snake man and a dog down there. So this is literally just the other chamber. So if I'd run up that tunnel at the very start of having just come back to life just now, that's the dude who is facing me on the other end. So now we can run up that tunnel and run all the way through here. As opposed to going up a different tunnel to get up that ladder, which is kind of cool. Which means... But although I have travelled for many, many a footstep, I've got my 3k in as we've made our way through here. Our actual physical distance, line to line, is not that big. It's a series of chambers with lots of different levels that you kind of have to keep crisscrossing back and forth on to unlock new ways to access. Hey, ah, uh, well, let's just say we've made great progress and I'll feel better. Is this a new Souls game? Official King's Willy. Uh, yeah, this is Lords of the Fallen. Came out in October, I think. Hey, you did it. It's pretty good. Okay, well, we've umbrellated. That's what we were doing last time. I love the shift in lighting, though. And, uh... Ooh, quite a big, deep internal chamber with a spiky cage root to the top. And many cage roots down. Ah, you can always go further down in a game like this. What do you do when you can't get out? You get further in. You have to rotate your joystick to turn your character around. Because if you pull backwards, he just steps backwards. Which means you have to do this awkward little movement before you can get the lock on to actually lock on to someone who's behind you. I complain about that often. Okay, more souls than ever before. Another archered gate. It exists. It exists. Uh, there's a route down to further conundrums. Ooh. And a gooey gap. This looks like the end scene from Aliens, except it's white instead of Giga Black. The alien queen sees that I've got a flamethrower. Taking damage from also oh god, they're sort of blending into the background. This whole area of the game is really dark. We I did a brightness contrast adjust way back at the start of the game. I better not do another one in the middle of a battle. Oh, am I hearing crossbows? 
I heard someone draw on a ranged weapon. Ah! No, no, no! Sudden party. That suddenly turned into... Oh, it's that little gargoyle guy. They suck. Oh, wait, what happened? Does that kill me? Was that poison? Well, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, you have a cold. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Tudor Ramos lurking and sleeping. Cotton wings. How are you doing, you gorgeous thing? Mikey! Half a month for later New Year. Black and white chat. Hella atmospheric. Yeah, cotton wings. How are you doing? Uh, best wishes for your productive year. Cotton wings. How do you like it in a bedroom? You're quite a loud and out there uh, VTuber and artist. But I can imagine, like, you've probably got big sub energy in a bedroom. Are you a get on top kind of girl or a get tied up kind of girl? Now, don't answer any question you're not comfortable with. <laughs> Sorry. This is daytime bullshit. I'm not a daytime person. But uh, I'm waiting to get my boiler fixed today. So this is the Boiler Man waiting stream. How is yourself? Yeah, no complaints, man. Uh, the repairman or the boiler engineer should literally turn up later today. I don't know when. Ah, fuck, I can't even get through the fucking door. I don't know when, but later. So we're just playing games until that happens. Oh, man. I've got no stamina. We're pushing through because this area stopped being cute a while ago. Right, poison arrows. Who do you think you are? A way out. The lack of a boil is really getting to him. Yeah, it is. It's made me a worse man. It has been so cold recently. Like, I've really struggled just to get loads of fluid artwork done. Blame the cold. Don't blame my own personal inefficiencies. You need a drainage control key. Damn. They never stop wanting in this game. Oh, Jesus! They never stop wanting in this game. It's a good thing they're on this asshole. It's a good thing there really is like a backstep key in this. God. He's getting protected by an umbral as well. I went all the way down here just to die a tiny bit further. Mm, with the wind chill outside, it feels like minus three. I don't want to take my dogs outside anymore. Do you? What do you guys do? What What do you do for that? Do you put on like Do you put on like doggy booties and give them a jacket? Oh, Nikki's answering my question. It's booties. They kept lifting their paws. Oh, poor baby! <laughs> oh, you poor doggies. They have booties. The combat's pretty neat. Yeah, like, uh, so, like, depending on what you're doing, you have you do have a lot of moves. Like, if I try to get a stagger kick in, a stagger kick in does a different attack if you get a good connection. You've got your sweep-ups, you've got your... So these are all my lights. You've got your heavies. But you've also got, like, fluid ones as well, so you can do, like, an attack and then enter into a one... The problem is, is like it, you get like these big stagger windows. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. Now run, survive, collect my souls, get a little further. Roll, roll, roll.
here he kind of phased out of existence. Either the game loaded him in or he was kind of like otherworldly to begin with. There's a dog right here. There's a skeleton man right there. Where are my souls? So my um, big thing, my big special can stagger this guy. But if he's already started a swinging animation, there's no stopping him. Oh, fuck. There we go. Again, again. Ah. No, no. Ah, not quick enough. I knew I'd mistime that. I really hate these guys, man. They really wreck me. It's probably like if I had a shield art, I could probably just do like a really easy counter. They're probably like really easy swordsmen to reconcile with a second attack or something or a parry. The weather's really nasty outside. Damn. My youngest is fine with him, but my oldest walks so funny. And he looks at me like they're the problem. <laughs> I'm helping you. I'm, you need to understand. I love you. Wear these booties. I love you so much. Wreck It Ralph. That's a great film. We entered his mind ever so briefly. Oh, wow. It's a vulgar display of power. I've, I still haven't actually tried going up in this chamber. We've gone straight for a downward Danny. A quick look at a upward Lucy. The problem is I don't want to... Oh, Jesus. That's it. Oh, we've entered a boss fight. Oh, this is why we don't look. I've lost, I want to get my souls back. I had 9,000 souls. I don't want to go into a boss fight. Skin stealer. Skin stealer. May, not interested. Go away, go away. Do not steal my skin. No consent. No consent. No me gusta. No me gusta. Let's, uh... Wait, do I not get my other souls back then? Oh, curiosity. That's why you should never be curious about anything ever. I know where my 9,000 souls were. I just had to go and get them. But ooh, what's up here? Mm. Oh, never be interested. Never, ever be interested in anything. It's not worth it. Fuck. Damn. Ah. Oh. I I mean might might they still be Vec? I'm gonna go down anyway. Sort of a fingers crossed situation. Damn. Skin stealer. What a horrible game. I don't really want to keep locking onto those things, please. That's my oldest. She's a pit bull. The youngest is half Rottweiler, half Aussie cattle. Wait, is that, that sounds massive. More than a medium-ish size. I do not know about dags. I love them, though. Yeah, no souls.
it's insane how much damage that is. Please. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the corner. Stuck between a pitbull corpse and this candelabra. What's this? Oh, I better lamp it. No, this is too lamp it. Oh. Why am I here? Why am I here? What is going on? So that route leads to a little church. Okay. I'm going to have to defeat that skeleton dude. I just, I struggle, man. I struggle with them. Too bad you don't have any other weapons to parry him. Look, by the time I've run to him, it's already, look. You can't look. Hey, no, none of that talk. <sighs> Should I get on my sword and shield? It's been a while since we had a tickle. Problem is, they don't do any physical damage. They're so small. Old Mornstead sword, 96. Crimson Rectal plus 3, 211. 211's better than nothing. And then 46, 58, 72, but it's too heavy. So this iron shield. All right, I'm going to be honest, that shield actually looks amazing. It looks like it's been crafted out a load of pennies, a load of iron discs. Oh, do you see I did a little twist? Stab and then twist. That's, that's how it makes it bleed. All oh, you need is a little bit of faith. All right, let's test it out on this guy then. I think I did get one block or parry. great example because it's in a room with other animals attacking me. <gasps> I've got a photo of them in my about me. About you. Oh wait, is that on your on your page? No more messages on my phone. About Nikki, 18 plus. Good to know. Oh, oh! Dallas and Kendall. Oh! oh, yeah, they're gorgeous. Okay, out of the two of them, Nikki. Out of the two of them. Wait, can I save this? No, it's tiny. Out of the two of them, which one is more chill and which one's more aggro? You've only played Dark Souls 3. Man, I'm looking forward to that. I hear it's really good. Dark Souls 1 was a lot of fun if you're playing it on stream and there's loads of people coming in to help you and tell you what you need to do. Otherwise, it's utterly indecipherable as a game. Uh, Sekido is an absolute blast until you're miserable. Um... Am I heavy rolling? God, that sword and shield made me heavy and I never checked. Alright, drop that shield. Oh, we're already in, we're already in number. No waiting required. Leave him, leave him. Stop locking onto stuff. I want to run away. Hi ah. Hmm. 
I'm going to have to drop my pants or something if I want to be able to use a sword and shield here. Okay, well, our shield really stops me from soaking that up, huh? Glad to know. Oh! Oh, nice parry, Mikey. I don't know why he did that. Oh. Okay, well, I died into the Umbral Verse, but we did finally defeat him. Oh. And of course, none of my souls are here because I died like 10 times between now and then. You guys are right, honestly. That stuff 100% kills you really quick when he fires that. But when you take it on the shield, it actually does very little damage at all. Drainage control key. Hmm. Mate, I've been big hammering for a while, but maybe big hammer is like boss stuff. First skelly, guys. Yield for shield. My friends, I know the journey here was arduous. And that since arriving in Mornstead, we have suffered. Kendall's much. very needy. Huge cuddler. For are we now not within reach Dallas loves cover, but more independent. Do we not walk more among mischievous. the Wolga? That's Our cool. most holy brothers and sisters born of Adir's very own divine marrow. Those heretical servants of the betrayer, Judge Cleric, may have driven us into the shadows. But are we not used to being condemned and hunted simply for our beliefs? Rest assured. Finally. The time of Adir's righteous return is nigh. Did you and see his accent slipped out then? Faithful will be here to witness him usher in his glorious second reign. Mm. Adir sluts. Oh, my character moves so much more lightly when he's not carrying that hammer, I tell you. Man. Timing again. Man. God, I'm so used to that big hammer. That was another parry counter. I just smashed the guy's uh, guard. Damn. Maybe hammer really is just box talk. What's down here? More mysterious assholes. Hmm. I guess this is where we're going. It's either that or the boss fight up top. Is this where I, where I was earlier? Oh, literally it is. Oh, I think I've been in the uh, Umbral Verse too long. It's like a million enemies. Now we know, my friends. Now we know. What do we know, Mikey? Number one, we know that my souls are not there. Number two, we know that having a shield and sword and going back to basics is really effective with the skeleton knights. I'm so glad you guys encouraged me to try that. Number three. We've learned that now I need to go up and fight a boss. Okay, so let's check out the skin taker or whatever his name was. 
Uh, we'll run straight to him, but we'll get there by going up instead of along. Oh my god. I might change my rings again soon. But it feels lovely to be a bit lighter on your feet again, for realsies. Right, boss time. Wish me luck. So there's a parry window, but sometimes my reach isn't long enough to get the counter. Okay, this guy's totally doable. Now, doing it with a sword and shield is going to take a while. back to this gentleman. The skin thief. Check out the ass on the one bowing down. <laughs> Sinful, you're looking at the souls of penitent receivers. Yeah, I love their souls. Bottoms first. What's the check? Ew. Get some clicks. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, that feels lovely. Ah. Oh. Yeah, let's go. Sword and shield. I'm old school. So old school. No pants. Oh, I didn't check my rings. See what business this brings. Considering hammering him.
Honestly, if, if all he is is this, it's very achievable. The character design's all over the place, though. What are they receiving? They're receiving punishment, mate. Being penitent means they must have been bad. Yeah, well, they worship a deer. They worship the evil demon god guy. They're naughty boys. You know what that deer crowd's like. Now, I currently have a pendant which increases my catalyst. I don't even know what that means. I'm not into it. I'm going back to my perpetual relic, which increases my maximum health. Ring of duty. Vit vitality and endurance are up. Yes. Ring of bones. Increases my equipment load. Mm. Versus increased strength. Because mm. we're at a boss fight, I'm going to go for the strength thing. So I just need to take off some of this armor or lower my overall armoring. Let's take off my hand wraps. And uh, a slightly less cool helmet. How about a nice hat? Right, here's my Billy Bob Big Anvil. Oh, hey, that's changed my hat to helmet ratio. Okay, so I've got the I've got the uh, cool helmet still, the cool armor still, no braces, no leggings, no pants, bare feet, big hammer, increased strength again. I've got my vitality regen. What is this? I don't understand how to use this. I've got this, a cursed effigy, does physical damage and makes me better. I don't even know how to use it. It's not in my quick access menu. It's not part of my quick access menu. It's like in another sub-menu, but I don't know where that sub-menu is. Here. Can I just press square right now? No, that uses up... What have I just used up? Oh, wait. Do I press square now? Now that I'm in... Uh... Wait, now do I press square? Oh wait, maybe I use it like this. I want to. Oh, I think I I think I use it in my throw menu. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's a throw menu thing. All right, where's my healing? Let's let's get the fuck out of here. All right, anyway, back to the boss. Okay, I've just learned something about what those slots were. So I've actually had grenades this whole time. I just haven't been using them. I'm a kind of a purist. I'm more of a gamer, you see. All right, boss fight. Can we dodge our way to victory? Varelestra, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Welcome to my waiting for the boiler live stream, you gorgeous thing. What's good? Okay, actually getting a single swing in, it takes a while. You know, sword and shield might be better if it's if only for the timing. Oh, there we go. I can get some spinsies. Embarrassing, man. So slow. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. 
If you run right up to them, you might get lucky. Still, though, that hammer hits bigger than ever before. I'm going to give the hammer one more go now that I know how cumbersome it is. My bed is good. I understand that energy, Varilestra. I understand that energy very much. I tried to stay in bed this morning because I'm still waking up quite early. A little bit earlier than I need to. Um, but uh, once I've got some working boiler and central heating again, I should be living a dream of actually having a warm house and being able to sleep and wake up normally. Not waking up in the middle of the night with my face and lips freezing cold. <laughs> Just because like an evil chill has settled into my house. Guys, wish me luck. Am I holding this two-handed? I hope so. Maybe that was a problem. Judged. I was really hoping to do that without having to get into the Umbral Verse, but we always had the Umbral Bearers back up. <sighs> I want the Boiler Man to knock at the door mid boss fight. Where <laughs> I had to learn. That's when, as a gamer, I had to make the most difficult decision of my gaming career. <laughs> I had to let the Boiler Man go. <laughs> to continue the good fight. <sighs> anyway, we did it. What if you open the door and the Boiler Man boss fight music starts playing? Yeah, I open my front door and there's like a little wall full of cape moths. And I'm just like, oh no, oh no. Okay, well we killed the dude. We can plant the good plant and fight the good fight. Again, he wasn't like a completely difficult boss. It was literally just dodge hit, dodge hit. It was never really like a major threat, but I enjoyed it. Uh, let's upgrade my character. 
Um, shall I put that just once again into... What was vitality again? More health, more carrying. And endurance is more stamina, more carrying. Yeah, let's go vitality. My big brave boy build. Why does it sound like I'm underwater? Open door. This grate leads me where? The mother cage. With its open mouth. A gasp of fear. Where can I buy the keys? Oh, wow, look at that. The mercy of mother. I'm like a wonderful handsome man in a cage. You should upgrade that anvil. You reckon? Uh, should we take some of my pennies then? And uh, go back down to that rest spot and just go to sanctuary. If you look into the mirror and say boiler man three times, he shows up. Oh wow, this is the longest lift in the world. This is like when you go into the Underverse in the Elden Ring. Oh. Oh, hello. Okay. The vestige of a forgotten guardian. That's pretty cool. All right, let's pop into Skyrest, guys. It's been a while since we've been there. He ruined the entire story from one line. Hugs him from behind whilst he's playing. <laughs> Wait, what? What are you guys talking about? Who needs a working boiler when you've got the warm embrace of a boiler man? The boiler man. Boiler man. Boiler man. The boiler man. Hello, love. Do I have any, uh, Our holy work continues, quintessences? I do. Fellow sanctified vessel, may Aureus's divine radiance Thank you for bleeding on my stuff. And into you. You're writing Boiler Man fan fiction. Got it, got it. The Boiler Man. This summer, don't let your pipes go cold. Fife key, an Ebb's elegantly penned note. Oh, he's left somewhere. He was one of the Italian accent, right? Oh, there's that tablet I picked up from earlier. Oh, it's for smithing. Nice. Dearest friend. I venture into the frigid fife of King Rhaenyr, hoping you will find the courage to follow in my footsteps. Seek the windmill in that ruined hamlet Redcops, for nearby stands the entryway to a place which is clearly integral to your destiny. Do not be cowed by fear that so shamefully marks foes of lesser merit. Your comrade admits adversity to Andreas of Ebb. My boy Andy! Uh, that's near one of the... that's like early in the game, isn't it? Has I opened up a new pathway then? Hmm. Hello, madam. Would you like this chipped rune tablet? I'm sure it's not evil. So the tablets are all here. Just one more left, human. Traveller, there is often no greater misjudgment than power being placed in the hands of one unfit for it. And Galinda's calloused hands and hearts will only bring misery with the power of the runes. The final tablet, bring it to me, and I... No funny ideas, you treacherous dog. Remember, as long as you're wearing your manacles, if I die, you die. Galinda's already learning so much. We're learning. 
She'll see those idiots back in Sturleville chomp on their birds. Now, the thing is, Galinda's upgrading my equipment, so I'm on Team Galinda. This ancient, undying, unspeakable monster. Or simply a creature lesser understood. I can only speak to Galinda anyway. I wonder if when I get the third tablet, it will give me a choice. Oh, he's got a little tail. Madam? Another like you roads more instead, traveller. A man I encountered long ago. One already burdened then. A burden which has only increased enormously in the years since. And taken a heavy toll. Oh. Had prolonged exposure to that obscure force so baneful to humanity. And his is a bleak, ruinous road. Is he talking about my lantern? Enough chit chat. What does the blue lantern corpse stand for? Does anybody know about blue lantern? Red lantern is rage and carnage and destruction. Green lantern is willpower. Yellow lantern is fear. Black Lantern, I'm assuming, is death. Would you like to upgrade my massive anvil, ladies? I have two slots. What does that mean? Oh, wait. Oh, it's 3,500. Oh, insufficient vigor to turn it into 547. Still, though, still. Oh, socket runes. Are those two things sockets by any chance? They are sockets. My anvil hammer has two sockets. The hammer of Grook topped with an anvil. You do not own any circular sockets. But I own a triangular socket. I can give this hammer Ornix. Which gives Grievous Strike deals increased damage. Increase your resistance to getting staggered when you're blocking with it. Pockets of civilization can be found scattered across the region known as Western Drylands. Vast and untamed and full of hazards. Grievous Strike deals increased damage. Is that my special? Is that my R2? Ooh, Rune Novice. Mmm. Mmm. Alright, sweet. Right, I just need to get a few more souls and we can upgrade this. Let's give it a quick save. Are we doing for time? Google says that the blue lantern can heal and regenerate body parts. The fuel is hope. It's kind of gay. <laughs> it's heart. Regenerate body parts. Mate, if I was green... Because green lantern can imagine stuff, right? No other lantern can imagine stuff like Green Lantern can, I guess. So would you rather use Blue Lantern to give yourself a super powerful wang? Or would you just use Green Lantern where you don't affect your body, but in the bedroom you can give yourself like bonus shapes? Alright, where am I going to farm some quick souls? I literally only need a few hundred. Uh, oh wait, no, no, I'll just sell some stuff. Hello. In radiance, judgment. I can't use some of these hammers anyway. Scale breaker, that's a dragon hammer. The problem is, is they all look really cool. Clothing usually goes quite nicely. Anything I've got two pairs of. Loincloth. Shackle. How am I doing for money now? Just a little bit more, I think. Mm. Fawned Penitent Mask is cool. This cage, it's a bit of a miserable vibe. Right, sweet. I think that's enough money. One more upgrade, please. I'd imagine myself a new limb. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, if you lose a limb, you can heal it. But like... Green Lantern, two dongs. 
Welcome in Fenrir. How's it going today? Fenrir, my boiler man, my man. I'm waiting on my man, Fenrir. I'm waiting my boiler man is arriving today. Confirmed on my text message earlier. So we're just streaming until the boiler man comes. And then I'm really hoping that I finish off my night with a hot bath. Together with the boiler man. No, no, no. Solo. How you doing, Fenrir? Please upgrade the hammer. Okay, we're going to go from 492 attack power to 547. Nice. Sweet. I should probably still upgrade that sword, though. Because I do go back to it sometimes. Just need to save up some more souls. Now, that dude said... Go back to whence you came. Got to go back! Firstly, we're going to walk to where we just were. Because I'm... I don't know where this is. Vestige of a Forgotten Guardian. She was a mighty champion from the south who fled to Mornstead. After slaying a princess she was sworn to protect. She was the true cleric, and her identity was assumed by an imposter. Oh, there's different stories about this one. Oh, that's interesting. Mikey in the tube only. <laughs> only on fans. Eee. If you want to see my <laughs> bathtub bikini live stream. I now have five heals. Hey! Back here, my dears. Where's here, Mikey? I actually can't remember. A map of Upper Kalarath. So we're near where we did an early boss fight, I'm assuming. Oh, hey! I'm right next to one of the Pillars of Evil. Okay, we're not near where I thought we were. We're actually still continuing in the right direction. But we also need to go back to the other place that the dude said in his letter. But let's uh, continue forward, my friend. All the fires are gone. Now it's all ash. The time of fire is no more. An umbral entity prevents your progress. They always do, mate. They always do. So what's my grievous thing that does more damage? Is it this? Yeah, that did ten. That did over a thousand. I'm assuming I get, I get an icon bottom right. Oh, I didn't this time. I thought I did. But I guess the bonus damage shows up in red. Or does that just happen whenever you happen to kill someone anyway in one hit? Oh no, I think that's just a one hit kill thing. Anyway, let's get Umbri. Ooh, damn. Ugh. Thanks, I hate it. Where's that tentacle going? Hey, you've been wanting to stream in hot tubs for months now. May, I was going to start hot tub streaming in December. But, uh, damn. No warmth. I don't think it would have been as sexy if I was just, like, in cold water getting ill. <laughs> Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, we've come to the end of the episode. Click like, click subscribe, join us live on Twitch if you're ever in the mood, or grab the playlist on screen. I'll see you then for a bit more. Take care.